The Palmier is 17 days out of Hamburg and is bound for Montevideo and Buenos Aires. On this voyage, she carries 31 grown-ups and 55 boys. She was one of the famous windjammers and one of the very last. Now caught in a hurricane in mid-Atlantic on passage from Buenos Aires to Hamburg, she's gone down with heavy loss of life. For 50 years, the Pamir sailed the seas, racing home to Europe with grain from Australia and in her old age as a German training ship. At the end, tragedy overtook her as the last faint signals of distress echoed round the world. Sails gone, foremast broken by heavy seas, in danger of sinking. Then, after hope had almost been abandoned, a number of survivors from her complement of over 80 were picked up. The US military transport Geiger brings five young German sailors into Casablanca Harbor. A father stands on the quayside, still tense after days of anxiety, when all the world waited for news of the ill-fated windjammer Pamir. For this man's son was one of the handful of survivors who lived through the Pamir's last terrible hours in an Atlantic hurricane. Captain Anders, himself a sailor, greets his son, Falkert, whom a few days before he had given up for dead. The Pamir was already presumed lost with old hands when the news came through that six of her crew had in fact been saved. The skipper of the Geiger, Captain Hermann Lutz, says goodbye to his five lucky passengers, whose youth and strength have helped them to recover quickly from their grim ordeal. The sixth survivor, Gunther Hasselbach, was taken to the Azores in another ship. But for the other 82 men and boys who sailed from Hamburg in the Pamir, one of the last of the great windjammers, there will be no homecoming. Photographers and journalists are given little time with the five young men, for they are hurried home by air, direct to Hamburg, where more relatives are waiting to greet the sons and brothers they never expected to see again. After the family reunions, they will have to report to the owners every detail of the ship's last hours. After that, well, sailors are tough. Danger is all in the day's work. They will go back to sea. But millions will not forget their fortitude when death seemed certain. The Pamir, one of the last of the great windjammers, is no more. For more than half a century, this gracious lady has been sailing the world's oceans, not as a mere museum piece for tourist cameras, but as a working vessel earning her living, first as a merchantman, then as a training ship for German cadets. All the world loved the Pamir. She recalled the days when seafaring held more beauty than today, and perhaps more excitement. All the world was horrified at the news of her loss in an Atlantic hurricane. 52 of these lads, plus a crew of 35, were aboard her when she sailed from Hamburg on the last trip of her long life. 87 hands, and most of them will not come back. And while rejoicing that some at least of her company have survived, all the world mourns a great ship and the men and boys who went down with her. <laughs>